Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Bo here. Thank you so much for joining. Today's video is a pick a card reading and in today's video we are going to see that who you are now attracting in your life and who is going to be your next partner. I have prepared three groups today to choose from. Group number one, group number two and group number three. Please choose one of these three groups intuitively. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to make your selection. Once you have done your selection, you can find the timestamps for the groups in the description box and in the comment section. Okay, without further ado, let's start your reading. Hello, my dear pal number one. Thank you so much for joining. This is the reading for everyone who has chosen this beautiful card and we'll, uh, we will look at that card uh, later. Let's start your reading with the tarot card now. We will see that where, from where you are coming in this uh, relationship and from where your partner is coming in this relationship. And then we will see the overall energy of uh, what's going to happen, how your next relationship is going to be like. Okay, we have here Knight of Swords in reverse, Five of Cups in reverse, and we have uh, Nine of Swords, Three of Cups. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so what I'm seeing here that you are now you are done thinking about something which has already happened. So something something in the past has happened that you do not want to think about it anymore. And uh, something horrible, like you do not want to focus, do not want to think, like you are just stopping your mind forcefully that do not do not think about anything that was painful, that was unsatisfying and uh, that was sad in the past. I don't think about it, think about it anymore. And that's a very good sign that you are actually moving on, moving on from any kind of turbulence that was occurring in your life in the past. And uh, you are just trying to find your mental peace. Most importantly, you are trying to find the mental peace, but nothing else. Then this is this is your uh, main priority right now. And we have here for your partner that your partner is also like they are having they, they were having a nightmare and uh, they want to like uh, they want to forget about it. So in that case, uh, sometimes they are just uh, I mean indulging themselves in something like fun. It, it can even be uh, drinking or just uh, having a party with their uh, friends. But it can also be that they are actually focusing on something creative and creative work in that case because uh, they want to, I mean, completely change their focus and whatever the energy that you, they are feeling right now, like the intense intensity that is inside of them, they want to use it for something purposeful. So in that case, they don't want to uh, stuck in this I mean, painful state anymore. And that's why they are focusing on having fun. And it can be, yeah, it can be something tangible like uh, having a uh, drink and partying. And it can also be that they are uh, working on some personal project. And in this kind of uh, mental, I mean, whatever they were having, I mean, whatever it was disturbing them mentally, it doesn't have to be a past relationship or something. It can be anything. It can be, I mean, uh, maybe they have done a mistake in their opinion. They have done a mistake and they were uh, completely broken about it. And uh, whatever it is, but they want to forget that. And your person is uh, now trying to nurture themselves because, uh, and also they are trying to restrict themselves in some way that they don't want to, they don't want to be addicted to something in that process, in that process of uh, like forgetting, forgetting something that has happened in the past. They, they don't want to start something bad right now. Well, I mean, just to replace a bad situation, they don't want to start something, I mean, new, new bad situation. They, they, they don't want that. And that's why they were actually, uh, they're actually like restricting, restricting themselves from having too much fun and doing some other, I mean, problematic things in their life. And that's a good sign, of course. So, this relationship is going to be a fulfill, well, I mean, wish fulfillment for both of you. And I'm seeing that you you have this similar kind of kind of experiences that 
you are someone who has gone through some bad uh, bad experiences but you don't want you are not a pessimistic person and you don't want to live in your past forever so this is a very good uh, i mean combination like this is the common factor between you and your uh, next partner partner and uh, okay we have here uh, cancer, cancer pisces scorpio and uh, gemini libra aquarius a bit more dominant in this reading okay Another signs are also there. Okay, so this is going to be a wish fulfillment for both of you. And uh, one thing you will definitely love about both of you that one another that you we will be able to take care of your I mean one another. It will be accepted. It will be uh, like you will nourish each other, and the other party is going to love that. And uh, this is going to give you a lot of fulfillment. So uh, I mean you can ask for like uh, you, you want this, you want that. Uh, just uh, do this for me, or just sit by my side, or just help me in that in that project or just to, uh, i mean let's talk let's have some uh, beautiful moment uh, let's some, have some i mean private moment and just uh, talk or, or just do some i mean just be intimate or something like this so this is uh, this kind of this kind of things that you can ask ask from each other in that connection and that is going to be like there will be uh, no restriction no hesitation to ask for something and uh, it will be uh, you will not feel like you will be judged just just because you are being uh, clingy and a bit, it will it will not be like your person will perceive you as someone who is too much needy. And this the same case is for your partner as well. They will also be very uh, open and uh, they will also be very, I mean, nurturing and also a bit childlike. And so you both will be quite a bit childlike to each other. That's a good thing. And this relationship is going to bring a lot of, I mean, fulfillment in your life. It is going to be, I mean, when you will meet, it, it will if you feel like okay i have got the person that i'm i was looking for so long i was having a i mean lonely life and uh, the the only thing that i was missing in my life and that is the person and i have got them so in that case uh, i mean after getting them after, after meeting them after uh, talking with them and just uh, knowing each other things are going to be so beautiful that you are i mean there will be a lot of a lot of fulfillment that whatever you you are just uh, looking for so i'm seeing that this is the next relationship the, that relationship that you are attracting right now it's going to be something uh, long term it is not a short term relationship and uh, there will be a lot of fulfillment but one thing you need to definitely uh, remember that uh, sometimes when we just uh, go through some bad experiences like we become used to of that so uh, when a beautiful thing that come uh, doesn't matter how much we appreciate that but um, in the long run sometimes we miss i mean uh, it can you can feel like you are missing something, and what you are missing that uh, that bad time that you have experienced, and which is somehow your habit have become your habit. So in that case, be careful that not to mess up this kind of a beautiful relationship when it is coming in your life. And also, it is it is too much important for you to clearing your uh, past energy because uh, I mean whatever has happened in the past, if you are uh, still like uh, I'm, I'm seeing here that you want to let go of that, but just for some of you. It's better that you do not completely, I mean, you do not think about it anymore. Whatever has happened, happened. It, it is gone. So do not let your past have a shadow, uh, to, uh, like cast a shadow for, on your uh, future. No, not anymore. Because it is completely different and it is completely fulfilling. Like we have everything here. We have here money and emotional fulfillment and also a lot of passion, a lot of like, it's kind of a soul connection. So we have everything here. And also this, this connection, like when you have this kind of fulfillment, you become, I mean, uh, when you have just, you are just fulfilled emotionally, uh, I mean, financially, you are in a good position or you are just passionate. So life doesn't, I mean, go in, in that direction always. So you, you will always have to, I mean, add something to this uh, relationship. And which is I'm seeing here as well, that you both will start something new in your in your life it can be a project it can it can be that you will uh, involve in some volunteer like uh, you will volunteer in some uh, organization or for some people like uh, someone who is not that much uh, fortunate like animal or poor people or anything like this wherever you have your interest so some philanthropic uh, work you can also do together or so you you will have this kind of a mission i would say and uh, that will be very beautiful. And there is also, a, I mean, you will feel like you have come home with this person. Like, you will feel like you have known them for your whole life. And also, I mean, a lot of, lot of passion that I'm seeing here. This is completely a, a beautiful, I mean, 
you cannot uh, have more beautiful uh, combination than this. We have everything here, and uh, this is so fulfilling. A lot of passion, a lot of, I mean, financial stability, a security in this connection, and also, I mean, a soulmate connection. Also, like, uh, you have this ability to start something completely new, and uh, which is going to be fulfilling for you, and also for the society, for other people. It's, so, yeah, it is amazing. That is, let's see from the Oracle cards. We have here the animal. Okay. And we have there here the offerings. So pretty beautiful, beautiful. And again, that you are going to be the raw self of yours. I mean, yours, the raw self. You don't have to hide anything. You don't have to pretend to be someone. You don't have to, I mean, uh, restrict yourself in, in any way to express who you are, your needs. You can just be yourself in this connection. So, and also, it's a very good offering. Like, you are offering this. I mean, this is space for each other that just be yourself and uh, whatever I have, I want to give in this relationship because I want you in my life for, for the whole life, for the rest of my life. And uh, this offering and this, uh, I mean, a lot of passion, also, again, I'm seeing here a lot of passion and uh, this, uh, you know, just being yourself and uh, just exploring the life that is outstanding. We have here the divine director in intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. So, yes, you are being guided. So, whatever has happened, like it was uh, in, in your past, that was not that much. I mean, uh, maybe it was not fulfilling and uh, good in the past. But everything has happened for a reason. And uh, also, you're, I mean, you are being divinely guided towards this person, towards each other. So just free your cup, like empty your cup completely. Uh, let go of anything that has happened in the, in the past. Let go of that. because And be open. Be open for this. Be, I mean, receptive that, yes, uh, be open to receive that, yes, this is something I can I can have. I can have everything. A person, I can have a person in my life who is perfect in every way. Uh, whatever I have dreamt or maybe even more than that. So just be open for that and be open for this beautiful relationship. It is coming in your way. We have here the stag spirit. Take the lead. So it's okay. I mean, uh, sometimes if you feel like that, if you, uh, you are meeting someone and if you feel like that, you, I mean, if you're feeling something like this, a connection, a soulmate connection towards them. So in that case, take the lead and don't worry. Uh, don't worry to be, uh, I mean, rejected. Even if sometimes rejection is not so much bad, it's okay to be rejected. But uh, I mean, take the lead and who knows, maybe you have uh, just uh, met the right person, right? Yeah. Just know each other. And also in the in this connection, take the lead. So if your person is offering something and you will, uh, you want that, but you are just uh, thinking about the surroundings or something else that uh, this is not the right time or something. No, 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 do, don't do that because uh, take the lead and everything will happen because you, this is a divinely con uh, guided connection. So take the lead. That's it. Take the action. Okay, we have here building blocks. So yes, uh, things will uh, grow gradually between you. Uh, both and also whatever has happened in your past, it all was, uh, I, I mean, it was completely uh, helpful for you to lay the foundation in your, in your life. You are more mature now because of your past experiences and uh, you are uh, like, you are now ready. You are now ready for this kind of a beautiful relationship. So things are happening very gradually in your life and good things are coming a bit gradually uh, in your life. Maybe it is taking a bit of time also, but it is coming. So start working and be patient uh, and be open, most importantly, be open. We have too many cards here. Let me shut my again. Okay, we have this card here. And it says trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So, yes, uh, accept whatever has happened, who you are, especially, like, you see how they are embracing each other, like, uh, they are showing, and all these colors around them, like, they are showing their true colors. So, just embrace yourself the way you are, and uh, accept who you are. And when you will accept, and accept what has happened, accept whatever mistake that you have done, accept all of this. And when you will accept yourself, you will see that things will completely like change, transform around you very like suddenly. And uh, 
I mean, uh, you will start attracting whatever you want to attract. And people will accept you. When you will accept yourself the way you are, people will also accept you the way you are. And you will start uh, attracting your soulmates and the people you meant to meet here in this lifetime. Okay, part number one, that's all I have for you. I hope this reading has given you some insight of your question. You can let me know about your unique situation in the comment section. Please give this reading a thumbs up and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel if you have liked this reading. I will see you in my next reading very soon. Till then, take care and bye-bye. Hello, my dear part number two. Thank you so much for joining. This is the reading for everyone who has chosen this beautiful card. We will see this card later. Let's start your reading with the tarot cards. And in this reading, we are going to see that from where you are coming in this relationship and from where your person is coming in this relationship. And then you are going, we are going to see the overall energy that uh, what, is what is going to happen and how, how your relationship is going to uh, develop and how it's going to be. We have the devil card here. We have page of swords and we have eight of pentacles. We have eight of wands in diverse. Page of wands. We have the magician. Okay, so what we have here that you both people, you both have something in common, which is uh, you think before taking an action. I mean, you are analytical in your life and both you and your next person. And uh, what I'm seeing here that uh, you are like, I'm seeing that your, I mean, whole whole life your whole life you have uh, restricted yourself in some way so maybe um, you are a bit uh, i mean uh, uh, maybe you have uh, restricted uh, i mean your desires i mean which is uh, which is going to like give you some short term happiness short term satisfaction you have quite restrained to yourself from this kind of temptations and uh, but when you I mean keep things uh, hidden and restrict yourself for a very long time at, at, at something certain then in that case uh, this desire that grows inside of you and uh, and it comes to an end to an edge where it can explode anytime so you are now I mean this energy that is inside of you that you have always restricted this is now coming on the surface and uh, like a tsunami and uh, but you are still quite watchful and uh, you don't want to take you don't, you don't want to be in a hurry and you don't want to make a bad decision based on your temptation or something like this so in that case uh, you are still like uh, focusing on i mean uh, building something I mean, you are focusing on a life which you have built and which has the foundation and uh, which, is, which is going to be long-term, a relationship which is going to be long-term, uh, a life which is, uh, I mean, satisf you have all kinds of satisfaction in this, in this life. Like, you don't want to make any mistake, you don't want to do, you don't want to have, I mean, uh, temporary happiness in your life, but still you are focusing on uh, building something solid. But still, I mean, this temptation is somehow... Uh, like bothering you from inside and uh, your person has the same tendencies that your person is not someone who is a who is a action taker like they don't take action that much fast and uh, they think about it think about i mean they have a lot of, um, what i'm saying there that you both people have a lot of passion but this passion is something some somehow restrained and somehow controlled and uh, like you have this uh, fiery side uh, inside of you but you don't want to make any mistake and your person is someone who is also 
who also thinks and who also like a uh, analytical a lot analyze a uh, situation first and then they take a take an action and uh, but they are quite a good manifester i mean uh, whenever they have something in their mind they work for it i mean they think about it and uh, they uh, make a plan what to do and then uh, they manifest it in their life gradually and it can also be that your person is now some uh, somehow starting something new i mean it can be that they want to be in a public eye in some way and uh, they are working for it i mean and uh, they are going to they are going to manifest it in their life so now you both are like focusing on your career in some way but you are exploring like the passion you have inside of you it is coming to an edge it is going to explode and uh, but it's okay now let's see how your relationship is going to be like and we already have here four of cups the full uh, six of swords in reverse okay we have here the nine of wands the page of pentacles we have here the queen of swords in yours okay so uh, okay so first of all it may feel like that uh, i mean um, when you when you will meet each other then uh, it will be like nobody is going to take the initiative i mean the both parties will hesitate a bit to take the initiative and uh, make action but uh, in that case it may also feel like you will you both will perceive about each other that maybe uh you don't want it my right? i mean whatever you have to offer maybe your person doesn't want it or your person will going to think the same way that whatever they have to offer you uh maybe you're not looking for it so there will be this kind of i mean a bit stagnant and uh you will just wait for a while but in that case uh, as as i was saying that your passion is actually uh like it's at the age of exploring so in that case the after that you are actually going to take the initiative and uh, you are going to be ready for this new experience for this new journey so in that case uh, yes you are ready for the excitement and journey like fun having fun knowing each other and having some good time like mean uh, don't want to live the life the same way we you have lived so far you don't want that anymore but also you don't want to let go of your this uh, Sherlock Holmes nature like you still don't want to let go of your uh analytical side and uh, you still want to watch that uh what is happening where am i going is there something i'm actually looking for is that worthy is that something i need to invest my time or am i going very fa fast will they leave me like what is happening uh, well, i mean what's going to happen what kind of consequences it can bring my action my thought so uh this is still going to be there and not a bad thing actually and what i'm seeing here that uh, somehow you will uh, even restrict yourself in this uh, partnership so i'm i'm not seeing any kind of you know uh, like one night stand or uh, like just uh, jumping in a relationship very fast but what i'm seeing here that you will be a bit restricting yourself in that process of uh, when you will meet each other when you will know each other and uh, because you are actually wanting to uh, start something completely i mean which has a solid foundation something is stable something committed this is what you are looking for so you will eventually know that the other person is wanting the same thing and they are acting the same way that you were acting so in that case uh, after that after realizing that there won't be that much thinking anymore in that relationship and uh, you will just take the action uh, not not analyzing anymore not just uh, not just being analytical and uh, critical in this moment anymore in this about this relationship anymore and uh, you are taking the charge and uh, making the action that is good that is going to happen we have here the self and we have here the eros so yes uh, you both have a sense i mean sense of self and you know who you are completely and uh, also like uh, what i'm seeing here that uh, like you are becoming two 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 very very individual people are coming together and becoming one in this relationship 
So you are letting go of your this loneliness in this connection, and uh, you won't have this kind of hesitant. Maybe you have hesitated your uh, whole life to meet someone, to uh, talk to someone, or uh, you never had. I mean, you you, you were, it was always uh, a bit uh, difficult for you to open yourself for other person, and the same was uh, happening for your uh, partner as well. And uh, but this time it is happening, and. Uh, this time, you both, the two very uh, independent people, are coming together and uh, and uh, bringing this love and be becoming one. This part, of, which I'm seeing here, we have also here uh, line of spirit, be generous of a spirit. So uh, instead of just uh, restricting yourself, or I mean, be open, be uh, be ready to bring out your inner child and also uh, help each other. I mean, whatever you whatever you have. What you have, uh, what you have accomplished uh, so far, be open to share it with someone else. It's okay. Uh, it's the, it's okay to trust the people. Uh, not everyone is going to, I mean, uh, going to be a cheater or cheat on you or just uh, use you. Be generous. It's fine. We have here the magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. So yes, whatever you have uh, envisioned so far, that you may, uh, maybe you have thought that it's never gonna be. A reality in your life but don't worry the magic whatever you felt like it's just a magic it's just a dream it's never gonna be manifested in, in your life ever but this is actually coming in your life okay so don't worry we have here the go go the distance so yes it, this is going to be i mean it can be a bit difficult for you that uh, to i mean come close to other people other person that much close maybe uh, because you have uh, you, you always have hesitated but uh, it's okay go the distance and uh, even uh, it can also be that go to a physical distance, I mean, go together somewhere and have a beautiful, um, I mean, experience and uh, and make the make the uh, first move if you want. Don't have to do it, just make the first move, it's okay. We have here this, this card. It says healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment so this relationship is going to be a uh, healing for each other because this is going to be i mean a relief for each other for both of you because you are same in some way and uh, you both have like maybe have same past experiences or uh, it can be that uh, you are just a bit afraid because uh, you you think that the love true love or the person you deserve doesn't i mean doesn't exist in this world but don't worry uh, Whatever, I mean, maybe it was uh, kind of a torment for you, I mean, turmoil for you, like, inside of you, you, you always felt like, felt very sad, when, when you were thinking like, there was uh, no one in this world worthy of me, so it was definitely very sad to think about that, so let go of that, let, let go of this sadness, and uh, let yourself heal, and let yourself enjoy the moment that you have uh, your worthy, like worthy person, exists in this world, and you can find them. Find them. You can have a beautiful relationship with them as well. So that's it. Uh, you are actually attracting a very good love, and uh, it's time to open yourself to one another and uh, just enjoy the bliss. Okay, part number two. That's what I have for you. I hope this reading has given you some insight of your question. You can let me know about you know, your unique situation in the comment section, and. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, then please give this reading a thumbs up and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you in my next reading very soon. Till then, take care and bye-bye. Hello, my dear panel number three. Thank you so much for joining. This is the reading for everyone who has chosen this beautiful card and we will see this card later. Let's start your reading with the tarot cards now. In this reading, we are going to see that uh, from where you are coming in this relationship and from where your person is coming in this relationship and then finally how your relationship is going to be. We have here the judgment card. We have the three of wands. We have the high priestess. We have here the page of swords, chariot.
we have the song. Uh, very interesting. Uh, because we have two major arcanas for both and one. Okay, we have Pisces, Pisces uh, Libra, Cancer, Leo. A bit dominant in this one, in this reading so far. Okay, so uh, what I'm seeing here that you have, from where you are coming, you have always dreamed something and you have like a high, you have set something, a high value and a person and uh, you, like you have a way set and uh, because before meeting someone and before starting something, you wanted to, I mean, you wanted to uh, see yourself in, in a particular place, like you want to achieve that. And after that, only after that, you are going to be in a relationship and something like this. You have a vision and uh, it can also be that you want to move on from uh, from where you have born and uh, you want to go somewhere else. Or it can be that you want completely a different life, like where what was your uh, childhood. You want something completely different from that and uh, you want, you have to accomplish something. You feel like you have to accomplish something before you like uh, finally, finally, I mean find the person and start the life you wanted to start and uh, for your person your person is also someone who is uh, who is very i mean practical and they think before they ma making a decision and uh, also this person has uh, worked very really hard in their life to achieve something and uh, maybe this person is uh, like they were hiding themselves from the public for a quite a long time because they wanted to accomplish something in their life and uh, they finally have uh, achieved it and or maybe they are just about to achieve that and they are going to come out from their loneliness <coughs> from this from their cocoon and uh, they are going to show themselves to the world this is what they are gonna do and you both are, what I'm seeing, that quite, uh, I mean, you think a lot before making a decision. And you want the same, like who you are, how, what kind of a person you are, like you want, you want the just, justice to happen with you. Whatever you have to offer, you want the same thing in return. You both. We have here the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Hermit, the Chariot. We have the King of Swords. And we have here the Two of Cups. So what I'm seeing here that uh, when, when you will meet each other, you will feel like that you will be in a state, you both will be in a state that you want something just uh, stable and nothing else, no BS. This is, this is what you, I mean, want to attract in your life right now, you both. And uh, because of that, there will be a bit, I mean, uh, not that much love in the beginning of this relationship and uh, like you're not going to show who you are and uh, like you're not going to show who you are completely your person is not going to show who they are completely so this is going to bring a bit uh, pain in your uh, in each other's life and it's going to be a bit painful for both of you and uh, you are still i mean being in a i mean when when you are knowing each other dating each other it's still there going to be a bit loneliness like you are just dealing with your emotions and who you are completely in yourself like you are not completely uh, letting the other person know that uh, who you are because uh, you are a person who who loves to I mean be in their uh, comfort zone but uh, like you and uh, you want to analy uh, analyze the whole situation that what the, who the person is who they are and uh, what's gonna happen you want to make all the calculations 
uh, while sitting in your comfort zone. You both want to do that. So in that process, uh, there will be a bit, uh, I mean, distance for, uh, I mean, between you from the beginning. And, uh, but after that, this uh, clearance is uh, going to come. I mean, finally, this clearance is going to come in your relationship. And uh, you are going to realize that, yes, you are actually meant for each other. This is what you are going to realize, finally. So this process may be a bit, uh, will be a bit, I mean, long. And uh, maybe I'll just, uh, it won't be like I have met the soulmate of, uh, I have met the soul, uh, soulmate of mine and I just want to jump in this relationship. Things will not be like that between you and your next partner. But uh, eventually, you will know each other, but the foundation is going to be very strong between you, what I'm seeing here, because uh, you will take your time to know each other and to explore each other. Okay, we have two cards here. We have the medallion and we have the forest. So you both are like, uh, like you are, you are person, uh, you both are, have uh, built yourself. Okay, you, you are someone who has built your life and your person has someone who has uh, built their life as well. So you are like a, a medal right now, like a trophy right now. And uh, you understand that and you are also looking for it. You are also looking for someone who match your, I mean, status, who you are. You want someone like this. So yes, you are, that's why you are going to take the time to, uh, I mean, to make a decision that this person, I mean, really deserve you or not. So uh, this is, uh, you are going to, I mean, uh, yes, this is, uh, that's why you're taking a bit time, but eventually you will understand that, it, yes, this is the right person. And after that, a new, a very new uh, adventure and uh, a completely new road, new path is going to open for you, for both of you, where there will be a lot of new things. I mean, you, what you have never, uh, never realized, never experienced, never uh explore about yourself about the relationship what can happen you have never never experienced that and this is something is going to be there and the road will be a bit uh, i mean mysterious and uh, like you will always learn something new about each other and uh, about life about about yourself that who you are how you are what kind of person you are you're going to learn a lot about yourself as well in this connection we have here the call to action take charge lead by example walk walk your talk so yes, uh, be very, I mean, don't try to play any kind of games in this connection and uh, because the the kind of a straightforward person you are and uh, where you are a no BS person, no, then the same your person is. So do not try to play any kind of mind games or anything like this because this relationship is going to ruin because of that. So, and also take the charge. I mean, it's okay uh, to know about the other person and... Uh, it's, all, it's also okay to be a bit, I mean, vulnerable sometimes. It's fine. You don't have to restrict yourself completely, but take the charge. We have here the Kaaba spirit. The miracles are endless. So yes, uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, when uh, I mean, I'm feeling like you will be surprised by many things in this connection. Uh, surprised by knowing the uh, knowing about the other person or knowing about some aspects of a relationship that you have never explored but uh, don't be and uh, it will also be very uh, I mean uh, surprised to see that your worthy person actually exists in this world so don't be afraid miracles happen and this is gonna come in your life as well okay we have here the go to see so be open to explore your emotional side as well and uh, to sometimes even lose yourself completely instead of restricting yourself on just or uh, just to be analytical and uh, what should I say just uh, I mean always just you want to uh, behave in a particular way to bring a particular reaction and uh, uh, from the other person instead of this just go with the flow and explore that what can happen and explore yourself explore your person okay we have here the beautiful cars beautiful cars okay we have here sexual union Honor the place in, in one another where you, you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So yes, uh, this union is coming in your life where there will be no, I mean, no boundary. And uh, you are going to find, going to feel like, yes, finally you have found the soulmate. And uh, yeah, this is very beautiful. I mean, 
what what is he could ask for in that in that situation so our very fulfilling relationship is coming which will be full of responsibilities and uh, emotions and uh, it's it will give you the full room to lose yourself and just be yourself and uh, you see a lot of passion is also coming in this relationship okay maybe it will be a slow start but still it will lead to the destination which will be so so beautiful Okay, panel number three. That's all I have for you in this reading. I hope this reading has given you some insight of your question. You can let me know about your unique situation in the comment section. And uh, if you have enjoyed this reading, reading, then please give this reading a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you in my next video very soon. Till then, take care and bye bye.